Good morning and welcome to a very chilly autumn day in the Lake District. Beautiful, clear blue skies, so glad it stopped raining. And we're here with the BYD at 03. BYD stands for Build Your Dreams and it's the biggest car manufacturer you've never heard of. They sell about 250,000 units every month. Now you may remember our experience at the launch event just outside Bolton. BYD have given this to us for a week so that we can take it a road trip. So for a little taste of the itinerary, we're heading over to Manchester to Old Trafford to see the Ford Explorer. And last but not least, we're going to take this wonderful SUV down the illumination strip at Blackpool Lights. Woohoo! And we may even segue over to Lytham. It's a beautiful little market town and they have a Pizza Express. Mm. I think I know what we're having for dinner. Anyway, Ben, you're up. BYD have been around for years. For a start, you know the first Nokia phone? BYD made the battery for that has made a battery and built a car around it. BYD first entered into the electric car market, I think it was around 15 years ago. They now provide vehicles in 70 countries. And I bet your first question is, well, where do I get one? Well, they've actually adopted a dealer network. You can't even buy them online. You can get them from places like Pendragon, Lookers, and a number of others. There's three trims to choose from, and ours is top of the range. You can see its origins of the Chinese dragon. So yeah, BYD are Chinese, but that's a really good thing nowadays. Their battery technology, it's one of the best in the world. You'll realize it's not just the batteries that are advanced, it's the whole platform. This is ePlatform 3.0. They use blade technology, so it uses far less space. And they do use the industry standard nail test. The batteries form part of the rigidity in the platform. Great proportions, the silhouette, it's just well, you can tell that the designer was X Alfa Romeo and VWG. All paints are complementary. 18 inch wheels, stick cladding, decent ride height, doors that cover the sills. It's quite roomy. Charge cables, and you can tell I've had a mountain bike in here. There is no all wheel drive option. And the really cool thing is, it starts at around 37,000. This one's closer to 40, but it's all singing and dancing. But because BYD offer front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and all wheel drive, it's not beyond the realms. This is front wheel drive. Power folding door mirrors, blind spot detection, and keyless entry. And these can place smoke on the water because they're actually tuned. It's very well refined. The build quality, the car moves before any well, elements move. It just offers something completely different to every other EV that we've ever been in but you still got the functionality and practicality in droves. Wireless charging pad. Roomy, spunky, it's rather futuristic and it's very straightforward to use. Decent infotainment screen, and I do like this micro cluster. Electric seats, perfect as a family SUV. And an armrest that's wide enough for you and your passenger. Now you will find hard plastics, but they're of a good quality. Also the rest of the interior seems to be enveloped in a vegan leather for isofix points on the front. Buckety, they're supportive, recycled materials throughout. And it's six foot three, decent leg room and headroom. And I've got a footrest down here. Sadly, no grab handle on the driver's side, but there is one on every other door. Just look at the size. Now the interior is inspired by a gymnasium. For example, kettlebell. These are supposed to be like the weight discs and treadmill on the armrest. And the door handles, well, they're weightlifting bars. Well, it's ridiculously chilly tonight. We've got to put the vehicle on charge, ready for tomorrow. Impressive rear lights. And those are certainly LEDs. Just look at that light bar. I'd agree, it's very futuristic, KB. And you do have the sound when reversing. I can even see the camera through the center because of the big screen. Time to plug in our charger. I'm glad we got the five meter cable because the charging point is here. Just plug in the type two. And it's in. You can see by the cluster that it shows that it's now plugged in. You can now hit boost. And this overrides any scheduling. Let's have a look. And we're on charge. And when it's charging, that's interesting. It doesn't illuminate. So in a car park, people aren't gonna wander up and go, ooh, it's lit. Charging at 6.3 kilowatts. We've got 32% of battery. Remaining time, six hours, 38 minutes. Nice. Nice and straightforward to see. It's well equipped, it's tech loaded, it's comfortable. It's got some interesting quirky features. If you want an SUV that stands out from the crowd and offers a decent range, then yeah, this might be the one for you. 
And on that note, good night, Atto. We'll see you tomorrow. Chilly nights. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of range we get tomorrow, won't it, Annabelle? Yeah. Come on, Cave. Hmm, chilly morning. Well, it's been on charge all night. Let's see what it's got. Claims around 260. 243. It's not nice. bad, is it? It's minus this cold two weather line. as well, yeah. And on that note. <laughs>
I've never heard you say that. At the that. roundabout. In how many years? Date the third 17 exit. years. I have never frosty. heard you say the word graph. Because we don't talk about... Stenographs. Audiographs. All types of graphs. Skin graph. Yeah. Well, it would be skin graft, but it's the same word. No, so graph. It's As in a graph of skin, you know? Thanks for the mocking there. <sighs> You're mocking welcome. Okay. Anywho, I'm going to go back now. So you press home there. Yeah, Apple mile. CarPlay. Oh, look, the previously. Take the third exit. Previously. Space. No longer a motorway. Mm. Mm. What's the shortest motorway in the UK? In the M6, it hits in Manchester. Manchester. And then we can get on the M60 and at navigate the all the way to the traffic centre. Take the third exit. And then go to... Quick launch out of that junction there. Well, that's it. We can hop back onto the motorway to head over to Bradpool, can't we? Yeah. It's not, oh, it's looking quite good, actually. Yeah, well, the 61 will just take us back up, won't it? Yeah. Sweet. And we've got the range. This guy joining the motorway. So slowly. Ridiculously There's slow. There's two lanes, mister. Speed. Come on, you're in an Audi. Punch it. This is quite quick. Yeah, well, it, it's got to be a rocket, isn't it? It's an electric car. There, there's no hesitation. No. There's no scrabbling of the wheels. There's no. just permanent grip and you're off. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it offers something different, but something rather impressive. B. Okay. That's it. One of the things I like so much about BYD is they're not afraid to show their quirky side. No. And of course, <laughs> we're a big fan of that. <laughs> I mean, just look at it. Look at this interior now. Oh, this feels lovely. If you're a tactile person, there's so much in here to just unpack and just, I mean, look, play with. I mean, on long journeys with the little ones in the back, that could probably get pretty old pretty fast, but yeah. Okay, right, I'm going to give you a quick update on what the powertrain's now doing as far as economy goes. Yeah, because now we're on the motorway, we're at higher speeds. So, so we're travelling at motorway speeds and it's dropped down to just under 230 miles of range, which I don't think is bad. No, well, considering that we've got 56 miles to go, yeah, that's plenty. Well, I say we can go a little faster, can't we? I mean, flow of traffic's just going at exactly. just over 70. So. And that's if you need to get out of the way of something that looks like it's a potential hazard, or if you need to overtake, having that power and availability of range is all you need. And even at motorway speeds, you put your foot down, there's still power there if you yeah. do need to. Now we've started going up hills. It doesn't look steep, but it is, it's a heck of a pull if Annabelle turns around. Yeah. We've dropped down to around 220 miles of range, but I am a touch over motorway limits because that's the speed of the motorway. To be honest, I'm happy with that. 93% of battery. Right, I'm gonna press, is it standard Annabelle down there? Yeah, standard press, or high. Right, press standard, and I want to see exactly what it does. Is that on standard now? It is. Yeah, right, cool. Right, now press high again. I really can't work out what it does. At motorway speeds, it's quite quiet in the cabin, isn't it? You Especially hear, when you consider how bad the roads are. You can hear a bit of wind coming off the mirrors, but to be honest, they're pretty big. Speaking of those, you've got blind spot detection. And I have noticed that this B pillar is a bit chunky, but because you've got that, it kind of mitigates it anyway. Yeah. And it's just something to be aware of, isn't it, really? Oh, yeah. See, listen to that now. It has ramped up a bit, but this, this part of the motorway is notoriously bad in terms of quality of the road. Good point, Annabelle. I hadn't actually mentioned tire noise, had I? But it's now ramped up. But before, you could barely hear it. At motorway speeds, the standard regen's weighty enough. If I back off, I can feel it, and it, it is noticeable. Okay. Yeah, I worked there for um, Moto, and it was called Fort, not Lancaster. Well, that's some quiet tyre noise in comparison, isn't it? It's amazing how much of a drop off you can experience. Yeah. The drop would. Ooh, Maserati. Nice. On long journeys, this is the joy. On a motorway, it's just effortless for it. You've got decent power, handles well. Even with this, I suppose it's a slight wind, isn't it? There's no buffeting. Saying that, you've got a lot of safety. Collision detection, lane mitigation, departure warning. Play keep assist, adaptive. Also, this padded area here, perfect. So I've not got my leg when I'm resting on a bit of hard plastic. The nice buckety seats as well. I do like the style. That's the other thing about this car. It's illuminated. Not in the fact that it lights up, but the colour of the interior. It's something that, ooh, wow, look at that. Most interiors now are grey, black, 
it's, it's not. No, but you can, it means you can have a dark roof yes. because you've got a contrast. Yeah, and also we do have some mood lighting because there's uh, lighting here that does change colour if you use some of the applications like the fan or that kind of thing. Also, it glows down see. here, so we're off there when we come back from Manchester. Nice. If you like this type of video, why not subscribe to the channel? You just hit the button on the right hand side. It's free and you'll get an alert every time we upload. Also, if you do like the video, why not give it a like? It all helps and it means we can get more cars. Thank you. I do like the illuminations. It's one of those things I've, I think I've gone to since Social Club, which, yeah, believe it or not, we actually had one. Hi, Joan. Going so back a fair few years. Uh, about 42. Um, I would say. 13, 14. Right. Yeah. Alright. So exactly. I don't really develop to that. Alright, yeah. Okay, so the M61, that's the way we'll be going. Back yep, to me. So we need to then get into the left hand lane for the we next mile. Do. Years. Within the next mile, I should say. Yeah, which is always fun. It's always fun to cross over here. There's blind spot detection. Nice and easy to see. The other thing is, it picks the cars up from a decent range. Is that, is that Tommy Egan's cousin? Is it? <laughs> it's a pickup, and he's it's got like what is his it? Pickup. It's a Tacoma? Oh. Is it a Tacoma? Oh, I thought it was a Toyota. Annabelle, Annabelle, Annabelle. Toyota Tacoma, Toyota Tundra. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we I need to go to America. Yes, we do. Oh, it can launch. It's so nice to just know you've got that power. Ooh, temperature's gone up eight degrees Celsius. Right, so. We're now on the M61. And it's 28 miles to Manchester. So, how uh, we've got 27 miles to go, 38 minutes, and we arrive at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And how much range do we have left, thank you, um, Yeah, I've been going a bit quick. 173 well, miles. Up, yeah, you've been keeping up with motorway speeds, which yeah. is the safest thing to do. But the thing well, is, it's 173 20. miles, and um, when I slow down, it'll go back up anyway. Invariably, that's what this does. And that's it, it does it really well, doesn't it? Chorley, which is also where Hawley is for Brassic, because it's where it's based on. I love. <laughs> so if you've never, <laughs> sorry, you're up. honestly, guys, if you've, if you've never seen Brassic, check it out. Joseph Gilgan is a genius. Look, Jimmy. Ooh, nice. That's nice yeah, they, yeah, he's put a hell of a team together for that show, yeah. and it, it really works. And um, it's got star. Ooh, X class. Wow, I've seen many of those now. And it's got, they gel so well, but not just that, it's got some stars you just don't expect to see in it. Dominic like, West? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, Bolton North? No, Horwich. Horwich is also where they film, film as well, isn't it? I isn't that where they film, actually? I have no well, idea. Behind. Look at the hills. I think you're right. I think it's Hawley, and it's filmed between Chorley and Horwich. Ah, right, okay. Clean air zone. Yeah. Oh, well, they're all good. A580. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Every time I've been to Old Trafford or the Trafford Centre, it's always taken me on the M60. This is taking us Salford through Manchester City. Wow. And it's only, what is it, 5 point, no, 8.3 in total. Wow. Okay. This is going to be an eye opener because I have no clue where it'll take us. Mm. Interesting. I've just realised we're in sport and have been the whole time. Oh, Oops. Shit. Oh dear. But that would explain the range dropping. Mm -hmm. Because I've been, I wondered why it was so quick. So what? Uh, what's the range now you've got back into Eco? Um, 137. Okay. But I was going pretty quick. Well, we were keeping up with the flow of the traffic and it has been quite, quite fast today, hasn't it? To be honest, I think it's going to increase. Cornering. This is a 40 mile an hour bend. Look at it. Staying composed, isn't it? That's the beauty of an electric vehicle, isn't it? It stays... Composed. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, so... Work out where the heck to go. Looks like it's straight on. It is. It's basically stay on this road for another four miles. Oh, wow, look. Clean so we've now got a clean air, air zone, zone. Yeah. and uh, we're in Salford. I, I'm wondering, should we visit Salford off-key? Uh, so, let my camera report it ahead. Nice. Oh, look, a cat! <laughs> a cat with a bow tie and sunglasses on. Yeah, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that bit. Yeah. 
Supra in yellow. Ooh, that's nice. Now we've been doing city driving. We've done about three miles on, I think it's one. So it seriously economizes and you start doing city runs, which makes perfect sense. But it's nice to see it does it. Nice to see Manchester have adopted that. So electric vans. Exit from left, left, yeah. left, left, yeah. yeah. It's so confusing at That's points. why I'm watching everything yeah, as well. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's down here, yeah. Exit left. Traffic park, yeah, we've gone the right way. I suppose, is this part of Manchester City? I don't actually know it very well. It's a bit busier anyway, isn't it? Well, Manchester City is huge, isn't it? It is. Stay the course, and then turn right. This is handy. Yeah, those cameras are really clear. I like the next one across. Thank you. In half a mile. Ooh, traffic. Turn right. This one? No. Are you uh, sure? Yeah, no. We're here. Well done, Hunter. Oh, good. Well, well here we are. The next mission. Ford Evans Halshaw. Just wait me. Thank you, Master Destination Chief. Destination reached. But we're here. Well done, Hunter. Amazing. There. I'll be ready for the next mission. Just wait me when you need me. Quite big, isn't it? It's huge. Okay. Perfect. Let's go and see an explorer. Magellan? Fully electric SUV. Now this is on a tour of the UK. Well, we've got some nice cars here. I can see, what's that? BMW i8, a bright orange Mustang. Also, we've just been invited to a launch of the Dark Horse Mustang. Likely the last one. What a lovely bunch of guys. It's an interesting vehicle, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's got its kind of own unique style to it that yeah. I didn't expect. No. Because as you said, they've had the Explorer in the US for a long time. Mm. So it was exciting when, when I heard it was coming over here, but when it, I found out it's going to be all electric, I was like, oh, what a good idea. Mm. Sensible. Speaking of all electric, We've got 133 miles of range and our next stop is going to be Blackpool. This is going to be a far more sedate drive, isn't it? <laughs> Try a bit of an eco run. I think that's probably the best. Begin one. driving. Ooh. Okay, I will. Yes. Manchester United. Fantastic. Oh, that's the ground. I was going to say, it's because it's right next to Old Trafford. Then. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I do like seeing this kind of thing though. I know, and the community spirit that you find from it is just awesome. 50 miles, where's that to? That's to Blackpool. Oh, we're in Manchester. We can probably circumvent on the whole route, but it'd be interesting to see which way it takes us. Well, they're different routes. Uh, they're wow, that is big, isn't it? It's huge. I didn't realise we were here. <laughs> yes, this is Old Trafford. Wow. Actually, it's really exciting to see, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't matter if you're a big football fan or not. No. It's part of our heritage in this country. It's like when uh, we go to Wales and I see that Cardiff ground. Turn I'm, left. Yes. I'm not a rugby person, but I'm just like, ooh. Yeah. Not really straightforward around here, is it? <laughs> no, it's it's a city. <laughs> At points, it's convoluted, and we're um, poor country folk, <laughs> little country mice. Oh, country bobcat. Eh? Uh, okay, am I in the right? I am in the right. Line. Yes, I told you to go underneath the bridge, so it's because we've oh, been no, here. But there's still three lanes for the bridge. Yeah, but we've been here before, and yeah. this is the way we came. A quick bridge check then. Right, we're back on the East Lanks Road, and we're heading towards Blackpool. 128 miles. Travelling at just under 40, and I've got a heated seat on. It's very easy to use this, even though there's no buttons. Aircon heated seats. It's quite intuitive, isn't it? Well, let's just give a quick example. We've got no plug ones. Oh, so, I'm in the wrong way. So, I was going to say, if you get into the right hand lane, Ben, right, you press the buttons here, and you go to BYD. Then you just figure out what you want to use. So, say, like Ben's heated seat, climate control. There you go, it's all there. So you've got AC, seat heating, easy to use, sensitive enough that it works seamlessly. And there you go, quick and easy to use. Uh, the thing is, always remember that these buttons will not override your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, etc. The only thing it will do if you press the volume button, it will turn the media centre off. But then you just press it again and it's back on. Okay, it looks like we're joining the M6 again, or 61. 126 miles of range. Look at a corner. Very little body roll. Mm, planted. At 50 miles an hour. It's quiet, isn't it? Yeah. We're actually the refinement levels are excellent in here. Yeah. 
Especially when you think of the price bracket. In one mile, keep left. Yeah, it's a smooth ride, isn't it? It's not, it's not jostly. It's just, it eats up the bumps, but it's got enough cushioning and, you know, like movement rather than bang, crunch, 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 bang. Yes, exactly. You know? And a little bit of body roll just adds to the comfort. Yeah, it's pleasant. Yeah. Long journeys, that just means you're going to get out feeling rested, comfortable, yes. raring to go. Also, Keep our left. range isn't, it doesn't seem to be changing now. It seems to be sat at one, two, three. And we're travelling at 60. No, it's pretty efficient. Travelling at just under motorway speeds, it's just over mile for mile, which isn't bad, especially at 6 degrees Celsius. Well, you don't see this every day. A micro with mirror reflective windows going for it. It's pink. Okay, it was red at one point. Look at that Nissan Patrol. In many of those, and it's got a counter side. Now and veterinary. Just press the button. When the lights come on, everything goes into night mode. <laughs> I like this. Look at the cluster now. Very clear. Classic clock, too. Well, we're about to merge onto the M6 from the 61. Never nice. Say what? Say what? Say what? Seamless. What's this passing? It's a micro again. Of course. to be in a road race with a micro. <laughs> I am trying to do an eco run, bear that in mind. What is Brockholz? Uh, not a clue. Busy, isn't it? It is. It's gotten a heck of a lot busier. Once when I was coming down here. But you weren't with me, I don't think, were you? And a wagon got a blowout next to me. No, no, I was not. And, oh my word! You just heard the tyre and it sounded like a bomb. Like, boom. And the car shook. He controlled it Thank and then that was that. Yeah. But it was, wow. Scary. Oh, I wouldn't, yeah, you, want, you don't want to relive that. No. Because I've had a blowout in a car before in the Golf. And it was the rear tyre and I didn't realise, because it was lowered and all kitted out, I didn't realise until I looked in the mirror and saw this stream of smoke coming off. Didn't even affect. If it had been a front wheel drive, it, would have been a different matter. But as a rear wheel drive, nope. I got out and oh my word, my tire didn't really look like mine. I was doing, let's say, 70, but I was 22 years old, so 70 might equate to. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it did throw the car, you've nicely controlled. Yeah, 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 it was fine. Uh, and then I found out I didn't actually have a jack or a spare wheel and I had to get someone to come out and bring things. Yeesh. Poor Duncan got roped into that one. How far away were you from home? <laughs> I was right outside, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Botany Bay. Oh, right. I was on that hill sweeping round. Not too bad then. Um, well, enough. Beep, beep, beep. Do you do? <laughs> Put my foot down, yeah, it goes up. So how much range do we have? 97 miles. And we've got 17 to go. Yeah, and a 42% of battery. So motorway speeds, dependent on the temperature and obviously the undulation of the road, steep hills, etc. It is around a mile. At points it does dip below, but then when you get on the In straight, mile. it's closer to two left. miles. So, so we're going to stay left now? because we normally have to stay right, don't we, to go home? Yeah, it's, uh, it's counterintuitive to go this direction. 